This video will be demonstrating the SPI or stationary pole identification uh, encoder learn process for permanent magnet motors on the KEB F5 elevator drive with the version 3.21 serial LCD keypad operator. Prior to this procedure, the motor data should have been entered in correctly and a motor learn should have been complete. From there, go to the programming menu and scroll down to the tune parameters, then go to the LL05 SPI. Set that parameter to start and press enter. And then the basic overview of um, the, the, the steps are, are displayed. So one, you need to disable the brake from releasing given the inspection speed command on the, on the controller. And this can be done by either disconnecting a, a brake wire or in some cases if the controller is doing some type of brake monitoring um, um, it may need to be that the um, the pick, brake pick voltage needs to be reduced. Secondly uh, for annual analog and um, serial speed control um, the uh, speed con the inspection speed needs to be set to, to zero since the drive will clamp the speed command at zero this will um, ensure that the, the, the controller does not fault on, on some type of speed deviation error. From there, you can um, the user would give the, the inspection run command to initiate the process. So what is shown is the drive will take uh, various encoder position samples. Um, the drive is looking for uh, consistency in the samples, which you should generally see that each sample is relatively a few hundred counts from each other. And during each sample, you'll generally hear a little chirp out of the motor. So when complete, the drive will say it's successful, and it'll show the last position, and it'll take an average of all those positions and save that position into the LE06 and quarter pole position parameter. The second step of this process is the uh, synchro synchronizing the encoder. What this does is it in, um, checks whether the, the A and the B phasing is, is correct on the encoder channels. And so it'll ask you to run the elevator in the up direction. In this case, we get a fault. You can also get um, high current. If the, the drive measures high current during this process, that may indicate that the um, encoder channels are, are, are incorrect. So as the next step, what you do is you go to the LE encoder parameter group, go to parameter LE03, and depending on the, the current selection, you would either go from not inverted to AB swapped or vice versa. One of the two settings should work. And from there, go back to the tune parameters and perform the SPI again. It's important that if you change the, that if you sw swap the, the A and B phasing of the encoder or unswap them, that the SPI process is done again as there will be a different corresponding encoder position. So here you can see that uh, the position samples are being taken and they are different from the last learn. They're all consistent within a few hundred counts and then due to this when the process completes you'll see the position and then the average will be saved in the LEO6 encoder pole position and again the next step of this learn automatically brings you to this encoder synchronization so run the elevator in the up direction It will display the current, so keep running in the up direction. And the drive is looking for relatively low current. Generally, it should be less than motor rated current, which shown here was a, an empty car, so or a unshiv or unroped motor. And then finally, it'll ask you if it traveled in the correct direction. You know, if you gave it the up direction and it went down, um, you could hit no and it would invert the, the the direction of rotation. Or if you hit yes, it just keeps the setting as is and that refers to the, um, the LE parameter where we had inverted the, 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 the or swapped the phases 
for the encoder, that same parameter can be used to invert the direction of rotation 